integration by substitution. So let's look at some examples on integration by substitution. So the question is integration of 1 over x times natural log of x dx. So we're going to do a substitution. So I'm going to let, let u is equal to natural log of x. So if you differentiate this, so what is du by dx? du by dx is 1 over x, which implies I can say du is equal to 1 over x dx. Now this is a very neat substitution and this is a tricky substitution because generally in many of the examples you can let the whole denominator as u. But here you should be able to see that 1 over x dx can be written as du. So this I'm going to write the next step like this. So can I write like this? So this is 1 over natural log of x times 1 over x dx. Now we can do a substitution. Natural log of x is u and 1 over x dx can be written as du. So this is equal to integration of 1 over u du. And you should be knowing integration of 1 over u is natural log of u absolute value of u plus c. And now you do re back substitute what is u. So that is natural log of what is u? u is natural log of x, natural log of x plus c. And this is the answer. Let's look at one more example on uh, sub integration by substitution. Integration of 4x, 4x times e to the power x squared divided by e to the power x squared minus 3 dx. So by the, as a rule of thumb you can let this as the denominator as u. Okay, so let me do a u substitution here. So let u is equal to e to the power x squared minus 3. So yeah, this is the inside function and this is the outside function. So using the chain rule, I can say du by dx is equal to integrating this. You can again do a substitution here. So integration of x squared is going to be 2x. That's the integration of inside. And then integration of this whole thing is going to be e to the power x squared. So this implies, I can say, du is equal to 2x e to the power x squared dx. But now I can see, I can see 4x e to the power x squared. So what? how can I get 4 here? Well, if I multiply 2, I'm going to get 4. So I'm going to multiply 2 to both sides. So this implies 2 du is equal to 4x e to the power x squared dx. And this is something that you learn by practice. Start looking at a substitution slowly and slowly things will get better. So this whole thing changes to now integration of this whole numerator, this whole thing is 2du. So this is 2du over 2, sorry, 2 du, 2 du over u, which is same as writing 2 times integration of 1 over u du. And integration of 1 over u is natural log of u, so this is 2 times natural log of u plus c. And what is u? q is e to the power x squared minus 3. So your final answer is 2 times natural log of e to the power x squared minus 3 
plus c. Okay. Let's do one more uh, trig substitution. So integration of 5x plus 6, 5x plus 6 over x plus 3 dx. So as a rule of thumb, you can let the denominator as u and try to write the numerator numerator has got two elements so you've got this is one element of the numerator this is the other element and this is the denominator so let me do a substitution here so let u is equal to x plus 3 so I'm going to directly differentiate so I can say du by dx is equal to 1 which implies dx is equal to du or du is equal to dx so in place of dx, I'm going to write du. Okay, now let me write this down again. u is equal to 5x, sorry, u, so let me write the whole thing. Can I write this like this? x plus 3 is equal to u. I want to get 5x, so what should I do? Well, I should multiply 5 to both sides. So 5x plus 15 is equal to phi u. Multiply the whole thing by phi. Now I want to get plus 6 here. So well I have to take away 9. 15 take away 6 is 9. Am I right? It's always good to check. 15 take away 9 is 6. Yeah. So if I'm taking away 9 from this side, you have to take away 9 from this side. So now this becomes, I can say 5x plus 6 is equal to 5u minus 9. So I have done the substitution of 5x plus 6 as 5u minus 9. I can substitute dx as du and I can substitute x plus 3 as u. So this whole thing changes to integration of 5u minus 9 over u du. So this simplifies to integration of 5u over u minus 9 over u du. So this is integration of, you can put the 5 out, 5 times u to the power 0 du minus 9 times integration. You can distribute the integration like this. So you're integrating this function, that is 5u over u is 5 times u to the power 1 du, and 9 over u is same as minus 9 times 1 over u. So this integrates to 5u to the power 1 minus 9 times natural log of u plus c. And the final step is you put back what is u, so 5 times x plus 3 minus 9 times natural log of x plus 3 plus c. So let's simplify this sli slightly. So this is 5x plus 15 minus 9 times natural log of x plus 3 plus c. Okay, now this is a uh, uh, a step that students can forget. This is right. I would not say this is wrong. But a better answer is to write two constants. So this is a constant, absolute constant 15, and this is an arbitrary constant. So an absolute constant plus an arbitrary constant is going to be a constant. So instead of saying, you're writing c and 15 as two different constants, you can write one constant because when you're going to differentiate this, you're going to get the same answer. Your final answer would be 5x minus 9 times natural log of x plus 3 plus c. And this is your final answer. And to check your answer, you can differentiate this and you should get this back.